you can cross the street and get hit any time. Anything could happen at any moment. To me, this is undeniable, and it makes me uneasy. So what holds it all together? There has to be something. Fundamentalism doesn't work, but atheism doesn't provide an answer. It just seems totally random. At any moment, you could be crossing the street and be hit by a car. You can't control that. So I looked for possible explanations besides God. One thing I looked at was astrology. Am I flaky for doing that? I considered it. I believe it has some interesting aspects. I was actually impressed by how orderly and full of method it is. Now a lot of people don't see that part of astrology. They just see the horoscopes in the newspaper and the astrologers say you gotta look deeper than that. I'm not saying I get any life on astrology, certainly not anymore. But there is some intricate, elaborate aspects of astrology if you really get into it. Maybe it's part of the solution, maybe it's not. But it's more than meets the eye. That didn't seem to answer everything. So I moved on to Buddhism, Eastern type thoughts, karma. That seemed to be a better way. And actually, Buddhists often don't believe in God. They are often of the persuasion that God is necessary for spiritual progress and it doesn't really matter that much it's not as important as it is to the theists therefore you could be a Buddhist and it seemed like a pretty good answer a lot of explanations karma explains why this or that happens whereas the belief in God may not and that led me to new thought a lot of people call it new age but I don't like that term because it has all these connotations of hippies smoking pod trivia on acid and stupid stuff like that I think a lot of things are really profound in new thought and I wouldn't want it to be associated with such a negative stigma of new age what I found really fascinating about new thought is not only it provided an explanation for the way things are but also it provided practical day-to-day -day stuff that worked for example the law of attraction worked very well. One of the books I read was called The Energy of Money. Totally well explanation. Supposedly they base this on quantum mechanics and quantum physics and all that good stuff. Recently I was interested in things like the Baha'i Faith, Unitarianism that suggests that all these religions are paths that lead to God. And that seemed to be a pretty good answer because why would only one people be saved? And that led me to things like pandeism and deism that would even say there's something better.